In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the Easy Composer plugin. So the Easy Composer plugin basically lets you take multiple image sequences that were exported from any 3D application such as Cinema 4D and compose them within VizRT. So what this lets you achieve is to create or recreate uh, 3D scenes or the appearance of 3D scenes very quickly and easily within, your, within VizRT without having to recreate all the 3D graphics. So before we jump into the plugin, let's have a look at what the final result is of this tutorial. So here you can see my scene. I have this uh, cube with some uh, dynamic content on the front face of the cube. So for example, I can change the text over here. And we have a soft clip video uh, that will play on the cube. We also have the in and out animation. So if I go ahead and play the scene, See, the cube bounces in, the dynamic content gets the deformation of the cube, and animates out. Okay, so the other feature of the Easy Composer plugin is that it supports UV layers. So designers who have experience with Adobe After Effects, for example, you'll be familiar to this uh, technique. Um, basically what it is, is a green to red... Um, gradient and the application uses this uh, this gradient to coordinate for coordinates and maps textures uh, according to the position so we'll show you in a, well, when we recreate the scene exactly how we can use the uv uh, layer of this scene so let's go ahead and delete the easy composer plugin and start recreating the scene so the first thing I need to do before I can start the work within VizRT is to prepare my image sequences. So here we have uh, the files that were exported from Cinema 4D and you can see that they are EXR image sequences. So here I have the uh, ambient occlusion sequence. We also have a few masks that we exported, three in total in this scene. And here we can see the reflection layer. And we also have the UV layer. Okay, so the Easy Composer plugin comes uh, with the Easy Converter, which is an external application that lets you convert image sequences if they are EXR files, uh, PNG, JPEG, uh, all the major formats, and it converts them to EZS files, which are highly optimized, that allows us to run multi multiple image sequences in real time in VizRT. So all I need to do is to uh, drag my image sequences into the converter and convert them. So there are several ways that I can do this. For example, I can drag one of the uh, images from within the image sequence and the Easy Converter will recognize that there's 151 frames in this sequence. Uh, or I can, the easiest way to do it is to drag the folder that has all my image sequences within it straight into the converter. And there you can see it's recognized all the different sequences that I have in the folder. And the last thing I have to do before I can convert these files to EZS files is I need to tell the converter what type of layer it is. So for example, the UV layer, which we can see over here, I'll select the UV layer type. Masks will have the mask layer type. And as you can see, the converter uh, has already recognized that these uh, image sequences are masks and selected the mask layer type for me. And all, uh, all other layers will be pixels. So now that I've set up the image sequences in the converter, I can press the convert button, choose where to save the files, and the converter will start to create the files for us. To save some time in this tutorial, I've already created the files, so we'll go ahead and use those. Uh, and now that I have these EZS files, I can go ahead and open up VizRT and start working with the plugin. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a new container to our scene, and then within built-ins, uh, container plugins, Erizos, I have the Easy Composer plugin. I'll drag that onto my container. So when I drop the plugin onto the container, it automatically creates these two sub-containers for me, layers and masks. 
This makes it easier to manage the image sequences within the scene and keeps our scene tree nice and tidy. So on the Easy Composer plugin, I'll press the Add Sequence button. And then I can either select all the files and press Open. And the plugin will go ahead and sort the, create the scene tree for me. And as you can see, it has split the sequences into the layers and the masks under the mask container. But for this tutorial, we're going to add uh, each sequence one by one and go ahead and uh, describe the process as we do it. So I'm going to remove this group and re-add my Easy Composer plugin. And let's go ahead and start by adding the RGB layer. I'm just going to set the container size to screen size. And before I can see my image sequence, I need to animate the frame property of the Easy Composer plugin, which controls the image sequence. So let's go ahead and do, do, and do that now. So now I've created my animation, I can go ahead and press play, and we can see my cube being animated. Okay, so the next, this is uh, the diffuse layer set up as we want, and uh, now we can go ahead and add the next layer, which will be the UV layer. So again, I go to add sequence, select the UV layer, and as I press play, you can see it animates the UV layer as well. So, because the frame uh, property is in the main Easy Composer plugin, I only need to create the animation once, and it will control the animation for all the layers underneath the plugin. Okay, so the, currently the UV uh, sequence is full screen, but we want the UV only to be on the front face of the cube. So to do this, we need to use one of the masks that we exported. So let's go ahead and add our masks to the scene now. I'll select all three masks and press open. And again, the Easy Composer plugin has put the masks in the masks subcontainer. For each mask on the mask plugin, I can press the show mask button to preview the mask. This is easy for designers to identify which masks they want to use. So, and we can set the mask ID and I'll show you in a minute why this is uh, useful or what this is used for. <clears throat> so I'm going to set this mask to mask number two. This is uh, the mask that we want to use for the UV, so I'll go ahead and set this to mask number one. And this is uh, our final mask which animates in and out the uh, image sequences. Okay, so let's go and find the uh, mask that we want to use for the UV layer. So this is uh, the mask over here, and it's set to number two. And now I can go to the UV layer and set mask number two on the UV plugin. And now, as you can see, if I play the animation, my UV coordinates appear on the front face of the cube. Now that I've set up my UV plugin, I can go into my database, find any texture, drag it onto the UV container, and the texture will be mapped onto the image sequence. So let me just reposition the, the texture. And I'm free to play with the position, uh, the rotation of the texture, uh, and the scaling. And now when I play the animation again, you can see that my texture is mapped to the image sequence with the deformation uh, and the animation that we want. So in this example, we want to use dynamic, uh, a dynamic scene mapped onto the UV coordinates. So I'll just go ahead and remove my texture. Let me grab the dynamic scene. and set it to look at camera number two. Again, I just need to uh, flip the texture over here.
and then play with the positioning and the scaling to make it fit the uh, fit the cube. And now I can go ahead and press play. And we have the dynamic uh, scene with the soft clip image and the dynamic text on the cube. And that's it, we've set up the uh, UV layer. Uh, so our cube here is looking a little bit dull. So let's go ahead and add the uh, ambient occlusion and the reflection layers to the scene. Uh, but the first thing before we do that, we have the background uh, sequence, which I'm going to add first of all. So go back to the Easy Composer plugin. I'll choose the background. And now, as you can see, the background is appearing above the previous image sequences that I've added to the scene, the diffuse and the UV. Uh, so the way that VizRT renders the containers is from the top to the bottom, where the top container is the furthest most uh, container. So it's behind all the other layers. So to make the uh, background appear behind my other uh, image sequences, all I need to do is drag it to the top of my uh, tree over here. And now it's behind the rest of the uh, the image sequences. Uh, but as you can see in our scene, we still don't see uh, the background uh, in the scene. Um, and that's because at the moment we're seeing the diffuse layer as a full frame. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to use uh, the mask uh, to isolate only the cube of the diffuse layer. So let's open up the diffuse layer and set this to mask number one. So again, this is the mask that uh, shows only the cube and the text above it. Okay, so now we have uh, our scene with the background, the UV uh, and the RGB. Uh, we're now ready to go ahead and add the ambient occlusion layer. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to select the ambient occlusion EZS file and import it into the scene. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is uh, the blend modes option that is built in, into the Easy Composer plugin and which what makes this plugin so powerful. Uh, so I want to blend the ambient occlusion uh, with the other layers in the scene. Uh, so if I open up the plugin, we have this blend mode uh, option list. And the modes that you have here are the standard blend modes that you'll find in all the major uh, graphics software such as uh, Photoshop. Um, so let's go ahead and set the uh, blend mode to multiply. And if I toggle this layer, you'll be able to see this ambient occlusion effect that I get on the cube now. So if I play out that animation, you can see that the cube is looking a bit more uh, realistic. And I'll set the mask for this layer to 3 as well. Okay, so that was really easy adding the ambient occlusion. Let's uh, add our last layer, which is the reflection layer. So I'll just choose the reflection EZS file. Um, and the same, we want to do exactly the same as we did with the ambient occlusion, uh, is we want to blend it with the other layers. So I'll go into the blend mode. Uh, for this layer, I'll choose the add blend mode. And now you can see the scene gets uh, this nice reflective look uh, to it. If I want, I can isolate it to sections uh, of the scene. So now only the cube uh, gets this uh, the reflection and not the uh, front face or the, or the floor. So we have this nice reflective cube and we'll leave it like that. Uh, so that's it. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Uh, you've seen how we can use multiple image sequences exported from 3D software uh, to recreate scenes extremely quickly within VizRT, uh, saving the designer a lot of time in the workflow. Um, and we also have some really cool features such as the deformation using the UV map uh, coordinates uh, on the cube. So thank you for watching and I look forward to showing you our next tutorial.